Well, boys and girls, I decided to push my luck and drive the buggy on another adventure. Now, normally, I just go on these adventures by myself, but I figured, why not drag the wife into it? So we were going to go for a little weekend away, and I decided, let's have a real adventure, and instead of taking a modern car, let's take the buggy. Now, that's a little bit adventurous, because it has no windows, no doors, and is not really that greatly proven of a vehicle. But anyway, she was down for it, so we decided we'll head off and go on our little adventure in the little doom buggy. The little buggy ran great all the way across the state, stopped to got dinner, and headed to the hotel. Now the hotel we were going to is called the Mission Inn. It's a place that me and my friends have been seeing every time we go to Bug Jam, and it's in the middle of Lake County. It's a unique looking place as it's set up to look like an old Spanish mission, but it's on top of a golf course and it's really a nice place, but it's more for people at golf. And we pulled in around 10 o'clock at night in the old buggy, making all sorts of noise and loud, and yet amazingly nobody complained. So anyways, with the first evening in the books, we decided to head out in the morning to go to our main destination. We went to a seaplane tour place that is located on Lake Dora. The name of the company is called the Jones Brothers, and it was a really nice little operation. They're in a pretty neat little park that's right on the lake, and has a nice little splash pad geared for kids that's all aviation themed. There's also an old railroad track and um, station, but they no longer have service there. So once we got in the plane, we flew off into the, to the sun and flew around looking at all the lakes and groves that are around that area. It's amazing how beautiful the area still is, even though that you can see the urban sprawl starting to pop up left and right. It was a really fun adventure and we did several touch and goes on the water, which is a fun thing to do. And I really recommend if you guys ever have an intuition of doing it, go out and do it. They also have sunset tours, which would be a pretty good romantic package for somebody that's wanting to do something a little different and special. So after we flew around for about a half hour and landed, we decided it was time to go get some lunch. Of course, the Chick-fil-A is down the street, so that's where we went for lunch. And then after that, we decided that we needed a little more adventure. So off we go in the buggy to find a vineyard that is on top of the hill overlooking lake. They really set that up pretty well, whoever had the idea. The vineyard has been making wine, I think, in this location for around 30 or 40 years. And it's a really neat little place. They got a tour set up so that you can go in and taste all the wines that they're selling, of course. But they also have live band and music and food outside. And also they invited the local BMW car club to show off the cars. It's a really fun little place. They give a good tour and tell you and show you how wine is made. And you can get a free little buzz, I guess, if you want off the wine. After we had our fill of wine and cheese, we decided to go and look at a nursery that my wife had seen on the way there. What was unique about this nursery is they had olive trees, which is something I've never heard of or seen of in Florida. So off we go to look. We found the place in their organic farming it, but the big thing about the olive trees is they said the reason you don't see them very often is in order for them to fruit, they have to be in below freezing weather for several days. Obviously that doesn't happen in Florida very often, so hence the reason you never see them. So after looking at all the exotic plants they had there and oddball stuff, we got a little plant and we loaded Planty up and headed back towards the hotel. On our little adventure there, we realized that we were near one of the tallest points in Florida, so we had to go up to a little mountain in Florida. Now, of course, this is not a real mountain, it's about a hill, but once you get up there, it's got a really nice little view, and actually kind of gives you the slight feeling of a mountain. It's got the nice blue skies, just like the Blue Ridge, and you look down, you see valleys and hills. But, of course, you're only about 300 feet above the sea level, which is not anything like a real mountain but it was fun so off from there we go back to the hotel to 
slumber in for the night. Once back at the hotel, we decided to go and that's check out the, the pool night, and go and check out the restaurants and stuff. This place is really set up for golf and weddings. The wedding area is later, massive Allie. and I could see some beautiful weddings happening there. If you have the money, of course. <laughs> Anyways, the next day we woke up there and decided goes. that since the buggy has never been on the beach, that it's got to go to New Smyrna and drive on the beach. So off we go, heading over to the coast. We drive through quite a few little towns that were really interesting and just don't see very much anymore. Stopped off and had lunch at a barbecue joint that had award-winning barbecue sauce and obviously it's the local town favorite. And then off to New Smyrna. We get over there and it's not too bad for a Sunday afternoon. Got a good amount of people but not overly packed. Driving down the beach was pretty fun. Interesting thing you don't get to do very often. And if you've never done it, you gotta go do it at least once. Took a few photos and headed on home to end off our weekend. Overall, the dune buggy did pretty well and the wife fared through everything. No major mishaps and thank God, no rain. So anyways, boys and girls, get out there, get your projects done. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.